Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video I'm going to show you how to combine or blend two different textures together in Copper Cube 6 using a custom scripted shader action with four different modes available which is add, multiply, subtract and divide. You can download the behavior from my website www.neophyte.cf. Just browse my website www.neophyte.cf and navigate to this assets section here and download this blend two textures together extension from here. After downloading, install the extension to your CopperCube extensions directory and open up your CopperCube project. For demonstration of this behavior or action, I have set up this scene here with four different animated objects and have applied the same action to all and with different mode enabled. So select your object, uh, which you want to change or blend with the texture go to its behavior tab and attach a behavior i have used when a key is pressed do something and key press is f and then i have attached my action here which is blend two textures together then you will be provided with four different modes and change which material is the material type just go to ir edit and irlit properties like the model go to its material so material change which material is the material number you want to change for example this black jacket or you can say this armor is one material one then we have second material here which is suit or body then we have face which is third material then we have fourth material as his inner mouth so I have applied this action here for the first material and I have choose this texture to blend with. So this is the texture which I want to blend with this texture and I have choose the blend add as the blending mode and material type will be zero. You can check your material type from here. 0 is for solid, 1 is for solid 2 layer, light map, 3, 4 light map add and so on. So for, for example if you want to transparent add then it will be 12. So you can specify the material type here and change which material. Change which material is the material number you want to change or blend with the texture. So select the option you want to blend with or the blend mode and when I publish the application and if I press F then they all will be blended with the texture let me just delete this camera node from here and if I go here to the soldier here and if I press F then you will see that it's armor and it's helmet is the only texture or material which has blended with this this material if you want to change this material you can do this for example I want to change this with fire and if I change it and if I publish my application and if I press F now then it is changed to fire it is a very good shader for creating different types of skins and all those things you can change the material blending mode for example you can change it to multiply now it will multiply the texture so it is much darker and is multiplied so ar the armor looks more like mm, lava or something like that and then you can also change it to subtract which will now subtract the texture if I press F so now it is subtracted it looks like uh, I don't know what it looks like but like it looks like something some type of camouflage then we have divide here and then you can use this to divide so 
so this is how you can use the shader and this is very useful shader for and basic simple shader which i have created and can be used to create skins and you know tattoos and all those other stuff for example there is a something which is really funny i wanted to do with this man here uh, i wanted to blend this texture of male billboard for his body texture so i select the male billboard texture as my second texture in the material slot here and if i publish the application and if i press f so i also have to change the blend type to add blend add instead of multiply just to show the effect which i wanted to show you it looks very funny it's like look uh, it looks very funny to now to me <laughs> so now it looks like a different person is walking from his body and <laughs> you know so you can create some cool stuff using this behavior or you can say it's not a behavior it's action actually so all other textures or all other materials will be unaffected uh, only the selected material will be affected with this shader and you have to specify second texture in ir edit or edit properties here for the material you wanted to change or blend with if you switch both of these then the effect will be changed for example if i choose this as my first texture and this is my second texture and now it will be blended with the second texture and the effect will be same if you have chosen the add but it will be different if you choose subtract or something like that because adding one and two will be same but when subtracting one and two will give negative numbers and positive numbers so if i change it to subtract then it will give me different result so as you can see his pants are looking weird and if i switch them back then the effect will be some sort of different i think so yep that's it and one more thing what you can do is you can multiply the texture with the same texture to saturate the texture of uh, this thing for example if i select this and select this here and change the blend type to multiply then it will look much better the model will look much better and if i press f now then you will see the texture it looks much better and much good it is now multiplied and the model is now looks much saturated and much vibrant uh, you can see the difference here uh, his head and his body which one looks better to you i think uh, the body looks better so if you want to create something like that then you can use the multiply behavior or, oh sorry multiply blend mode for the action So this is how you can create or blend two textures together using the custom shader which i have created for you guys and it is available to download for free hopefully you like the video and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and join the discord server and also if you are willing to purchase copper cube 6 pro or studio edition then you can purchase it with my affiliated links below in the description box and you can also use our code our discount code which is glitched velo glitched velo is our discount code and this is not a paid promotion but yeah it will benefit me i will get some commission if you purchase the copper cube 6 pro or studio edition from the links given below in the description and additionally you can have 10 percent off using glitched velo as discount code I will provide the discount coupon or discount code in the description down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. Bye bye.